It's true that there are these exceptional individuals are around, but in the 1960s, they knew and interacted with each other and had a kind of cosmic consciousness, a common um, soul, as it were, mm -hmm. the soul of the community. You know, the species the, identity of some kind? The species field. Well, the, yeah. the, Way beyond species. Yeah. <laughs> so do you, think we won, do you think we won the revolution, the consciousness There's revolution? There's no winning or losing. It's life itself unfolding, and we're parts of it. That's mm -hmm. part of the recognition, part of the awakening, yeah. Yeah. different ways so to So that's why I think these books are so important, because the memory well, of what was, which touch. is so exceptional, which you cannot experience directly today, where you may not even believe that it ever happened. And here are all these voices, people who haven't seen each other for many years, or maybe who never even met, telling more or less the same story out of each mouth. And each person refers to experiences that were touched upon in other chapters by other people in the same place, in the same time, but in completely different uh, conscious collectives. So there were communes there was organic food, there was meditation practice, there was the importation of Eastern mysticism. There were so many things which combined into this gigantic complex system, mm -hmm. which no longer exists, but the memory is still here because some of the people have died, but many are seniors, but they still have their memories and uh, they write very well. Mm -hmm. Some of these chapters were recorded interviews from 20 years ago that mm -hmm. were transcribed, placed on our website, and only recently published in book form. Do you have any um, 60s uh, deathbed revelations that come through later on in life that they reflected on after living to this? Well, there were, uh, the, the, the culture more or less vanished, but it has derivatives that exist today, uh -huh. which are the flowers coming out of roots that were planted back then. Yeah, like, like we do have whole foods today, and we have they whole all that we have. Al yeah. Alternative medicine we choices, have home birth, bulk yeah. food, alternative med medicine, uh, environmental movements, right? right. Yeah. Burning man, consciousness of nature, music as something yeah. part lived. that we're not separate from. Yeah. You know, from the from the back in the fifties, when this we had to awake from something, mm -hmm. and in, after the trauma, fifties culture of, of in that case, yeah. World Wars yeah. One and Two, yeah. and then uh, the rush of technology and material stuff that was coming out of all that, and the atomic bomb, which put you know death on everybody. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, not we, just the one, but every one of true. them. True, we were all aware of that we could be twenty so, minutes from, from so vaporization. So what happens? This yeah. is the external, but from the internal, something was given to humanity in this particular form. It's different forms, but have been around as long as human beings and, and natural formations. But when uh, Hoffman synthesized LSD and gave it to the world. It was like uh, an atomic bomb of consciousness going off. And you had to have something equivalent to meet what was going on the outside for us to cope with it. And all these other things that are happening, I believe, are coping mechanisms. When you see the breakdown of what's there and it's not working, then you have to do something different. Mm -hmm. So people from every, for wherever they were, whether they were dancers or painters or artists or mathematicians or whatever, uh, they had to figure out <laughs> what's broken here and how do we fix it and there's so many answers because there are so many fractures in the materialistic belief that this is all there is.